All right, guys, welcome to the Dickie Dine Show. Today we are playing this hot seat game. We're changing it a little bit like we did last time. We're returning into how well do we know each other. Each other, yeah. Part two. So we're including Tony in this one because uh, he's been a boy for <laughs> a little while now of ours. And, I'm you know, <laughs> we think we could we could probably get some, some good answers. I've been a boy for a long time. And I'm curious to see how well you know us. Like how well do you pay attention, Like Tony? the back of your hand, dude. So, I'm just gonna um, say that. All right, number one, Tony. What is something <clears throat> that Tony's parents taught him that turned out to be completely wrong? Ooh, that is a tough one. Uh, Who to fucking vote for you? <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say. I was about to say like, like the political side of it, <laughs> probably over. like. Um, no, I feel like that was um, probably instilled in him on purpose. <laughs> yeah, probably. Uh, something he was taught that turned out to be wrong. Um, like like it was like they taught me something and I like I'm just doing it wrong. Like brushing no, my teeth like or like like they were wrong and you found out they were wrong. Like like they they said oh you always okay I'm gonna say like like they taught you to go to, like, like get like a really cool. you're like oh man it's been sick this whole time. <laughs> yeah, I, I would say like they taught you to like go to school, get smart, get like, go to college, get like a really good job, and then I mean you're doing great now. So they kind of, if, if they would have yeah, known that bad, stuff. It would have turned out to be okay, wrong. Okay. Parents don't teach me nothing. <laughs> What's yours, Gooby? We gotta guess yours. Is that your guess? Yeah, we gotta guess you. That's my guess. And right. then you have to guess. Oh, uh, wait. What was? You your, have to guess him. What was your guess? That they that, that told me to go to college. Told him to go to college. Oh, okay. and, yeah. Um. I feel like like I feel like your parents didn't teach you dick about taxes. I feel like that's something you did on your own. I'm gonna say like like your business niche, something like that. Those are. I mean, they're both kind of right. Yeah. Yeah. Just general know-how. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What well, What is something? I that... think I think yours is closer because yeah. I because like my parents have good business sense, but they're not like business people mm -hmm. like me. Like they they work for other people. Well, I work for you too, but they they're not entrepreneurial. Mm -hmm. Like they don't run their own businesses. Right. Um. But definitely that college. Thing. Yeah. My mom still is like, so honey, when are you gonna go back to school? And, <laughs> That's are, you, are you not paying attention? <laughs> yeah. I'm doing cool things. Yeah. Mom. She's like, There's didn't you see me on Jimmy Kimmel, mom? <laughs> I was crowd surfing to Post Malone. Fuck off, mom. She's always like, like, so, you know, like, how much longer are you going to be doing music? I'm like, how much like, God, this is the best I could have ever hoped it to go. Yeah, right. I'm going to do right. it forever right For now. Real. It's a condescending thing to say. <laughs> it's like going better than I could have ever, ever imagined. Is there anything you can think of other than that that they have told you that you know for a fact is like, now they were wrong about this? That is, that is that's the big one. Yeah. It it is, it's just like, stay, stay in, yeah, like stay you have to get lane. an education yeah. or you'll never be successful. Like yeah. my mom used to always be like, People without degrees will always get beat by people with with degrees. Yeah. And I, like from a new, young age, I was like, that is patently false. Right. Because I was hiring people without <laughs> degrees. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Patently false. Because <laughs> <laughs> I was hiring people without degrees yeah. over people with degrees because sure. they had experience. What? Ask, ask Austin. Uh, uh, what will Austin's gravestone say? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> well, it'll say it'll say something like, "Well, I tried." <laughs> it's, like, it's like, "Well, I guess this is my life now." <laughs> like something uh, like silly, like no, it'll, like, probably, it'll, it'll probably it'll it'll probably just like, say. <laughs> <it'll>, <laughs> what'd you say? World's longest yeah, boy. <laughs> it'll probably say like, Bree! yeah. It'll say it'll say, Dicky F T L O I. <laughs> and then exactly. don't die with regret. I don't even... <laughs> That's pretty funny. That's fucking See, act solid. Be sad boy. Yeah. All right, Austin. What would you put on your tombstone? What... Yeah, it, it would honestly probably just be some like just little joke. Yeah. Like, it, it, you're both right. It would just be like a quick little like like ah oh, sick. Like, yeah. Yeah. A or something, or just like say Rip Fam or something. Like that. Yeah. <laughs> like, Rip Fam. There's no words or name. It right. just says Rip Fam. Yeah. <laughs> Who was this? I need to know this guy. Some, he sounds I, I, awesome. That's what I want. I want because I I just want to go out with like a chuckle or something. Yeah. Like, even if I'm on my deathbed, I want to like to be right. like. <laughs> like I'm gonna muster it. That's gonna be, I want that to be my legacy. Yeah, like, right before you go, you're like, hold on, one more thing. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck, Grandpa? Oh God. Uh, oh, God. Yeah, I don't know. You guys can rock paper scissors because it was who was closer. It was pretty close. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it, was the same. it was a joke. It was a, yeah, a joke. <laughs> my tombstone's gonna be a hey, what's up? Right. All right. Uh, this one's for Jarvis. Yeah, hit me. All right. What are two things I would consider a deal breaker on a first date? Jared would? Yeah. Okay. Over 90 pounds. <laughs> is not a gossip. Wow. <laughs> wow, guys. Uh, I'm going to say... Yeah, light colors. I'm, I'm gonna I'll say have you know, pussy. I've, I've, I've uh, messed with a couple 98-pounders. <laughs> Let me tell you. That's a whale, Okay, so dude. triple digits is where we're drawing. Yeah. Okay, so 
Deal breaker one, triple digits, and um, are you actually going for the weight thing? Or was that not a joke? I mean, I mean <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll have you know, my heaviest girlfriend was probably like 145, <clears throat> 150. It's not even that heavy. I'm just saying, I don't, I you, know, you dated, said 90. I haven't dated a girl under 140 in oh like the last God. five years. All right. Well, the All right. I've been one girl for I mean, I'm not saying you're no, wrong. Okay. I'm just saying. I, I don't think that would be a I'm kind yeah. of kidding, but I know you, you I know, definitely have a type. Yeah, I was going to say, I know you don't like fat girls, so that would definitely be a deal breaker. Yeah. I guess weight in general would Fat be. girls are watching? Fuck you. Yo, ooh. <laughs> just kidding. I mean, They're your yeah. only saving grace, Tony. They're all the followers That's you get on Instagram with big girls. <laughs> You just lost half your audience right I'm there. I'm just kidding. No, they're just, they're just following his because his name's Skeddy Bag, right? Because this is Spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> wow, dude, you're really fat shaming right now. Yeah, I, I didn't shame you. For me. I just said, I'm just making jokes about There's it. There's nothing wrong with being fat. Just All right, so a you. fat chick. Um, yeah, some sort of hygiene issue, probably. Like a yeah. noticeable hygiene issue. Like I would say like... Stinky I'm, breath or something. I'm going to say like excessive body hair. Not like a lot, like me. You like, said excessive. <laughs> well, like, more, more than, more so than yeah, like... a girl that, with this, like, probably like not. More than, you'd ex- yeah, well, more than you'd expect a girl to have. Like she rolls up her arms and you're like... Yeah, yeah, and it's like, oh, like dark hair and mm-hmm. you're like, whoa. Like, oh, it looks fuzzy. Like you, yeah. you touch her arm you're like, that's not right. I'm gonna say yeah. Like, I'm gonna say like too say, much, yeah. a little too much hair. Is hygiene too vague? I think so, yeah. I'm gonna say like odor. Like if they smell yeah, bad. Yeah, there's some sure. sort of smell. Right. Yeah, okay. I mean, and what what was yours? It's just like hair. Too much Just too much hair. hair. Um, it had to be like, like this. Like that's. Really? I don't know, man. Like, like some body hair is fine. I don't mind that. But. Or like a happy oh, Okay, trail. like armpit <laughs> hair or like. Like leg hair, I'd be like, eh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know? I don't know. Yeah, I, I might I might not. It depends. Um, the funny story, there actually, I'm not going to say the person's name, but there was a girl that. You know who you are. Uh, th- there was a girl that, well, she probably doesn't because I never told her this. Oh. But there was a girl hanging out with, uh, and then, like, we were sitting like this, and I was just, like, looked over at her, and I saw inside her oh, ear. Oh, no. And I saw inside her ear, and it was just this orange cave of earwax. Oh, and uh, that was the biggest turnoff for me. I was just, like, instantly, like, any, oh, like, God. attraction to this person was just gone. Dude, even if my friends have that. Yeah. yeah. You gotta let them know. I'm just, I'm just like, like, yo, like, dude. say something. Like, you gotta clean your God, ears, yeah. bro. That, that's pretty bad. Yeah, that's Yikes. that was gnarly. So, yeah, I would, uh, I'd probably go with Austin's more Order. than yours, but... Yeah, sometimes I mean, though, like, I don't know. okay, so sometimes there's like a the science of like smells, you know? Yeah. Like they do those parties where like somebody will wear a shirt for three days to bed, sure. and they'll put it in a bag, mm-hmm. and then people smell the shirts, and based on the best scent, yeah, they pick like their partner. Right. And sure. apparently those relationships last like a super long time. Yeah. Well, it's like the pheromone. Sometimes you smell somebody, and you're like, God, I smell your, I smell your body. Yeah. But it's not like it's not a well, good that's different though. Like breath. No, though? it's not a breath, bad smell. Breath is gross. Yeah, breath like, is a, like gross. a body smell. Yeah, that's like sometimes it's hot. That's what you're saying. Like it depends on the smell. Like an independent odor or something. Like a dog in heat. Like. <laughs> you can feel the heat <laughs> no, I definitely, I definitely found the girls like I can smell your body odor, but I'm not. It's not bad. It's not that. It's not like, good for you. Yeah. yeah, the mouth odor though. That's, no, yeah, that's, that's always a whole bad. Bad level. breath is a bad one for yeah. sure. I don't like that at all. Yeah. yeah. Or like, yeah, specifically like bo. Like if you have like a, like a natural mm-hmm. odor, kind of like he was saying, that's fine. But like one of those, like you know, like that onion kind of like. Right. Whoa, oh yeah. Like, if it's like spicy, like spicy. Like, whoa. If it's like you just worked out and like. A hard workout. Mm-hmm. That's a different story. But if it's like someone's natural or it's like you just, I just, right, you just worked out. Some stairs or and I can no, and I can <laughs> smell you because like you worked out. But it's it's like your there's just some girls. Now, yeah, there's just like some girls scent. where it's like your smell is your scent is not bad. Yeah, because like a healthy people, diet smell. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Or like somebody like if someone on a real good diet and you eat mm-hmm. their sperm and it's like exactly. You got, it's all those probiotics. Let me tell you. Tony knows all about. Drives that. the curls crazy. All right, what event in Tony's life? Divides. Wait, what event divides Tony's life into before and after? Meeting Jared Dines. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's, that's what good. I would say. <laughs> that's pretty good. Uh, probably that, because that. I mean, I don't know many pivotal moments in your life. Maybe rest or pose. That might have been a before and after moment where you were working like for like vans or wh- whatever manager jobs, and then you worked. for... You have a couple. I mean, like getting getting fired from bias too. That was dude. The last like, one. Because rest hard because the last... was the start of all. That's of this. true. Yeah. yeah, but that came with meeting. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was after actually. I met him. Oh, you got came from, from that. Yeah, you, yeah, I met I met Fluff first. Um, yeah, what's is that your answer? That's my that's my <laughs> answer too. <laughs> like I would th- I would say that would be my answer too. I don't know. Like rest or pose. Probably rest your pose, yeah. Um, as far as pivotal, I mean, because that wasn't pivotal. That was just, like, the opening door. So I'm going to go with the bias one, getting fired, because you taking that plunge kind of 
was a really pivotal moment that kind of changed? I, I would say that that's, that moment is not far enough in the past to, for me to know yet. Mm -hmm. If it's like, if that's the delineation, right. that was only like a year and some change ago. Mm -hmm. Okay, what about, okay, how about this? How about moving to Washington from California? Yeah, that's, prob that's probably it. That's moving, probably, moving to yeah. Oregon. And I would say, I would say like to push the time even further, probably meeting Chelsea. Mm -hmm. Because that's when it was, came up here? yeah, that's okay. when it was really like, Good girl. Oh, before and after Because I probably would have stayed closer to Portland and I may, may have even moved across the country. Yeah. If, if she wasn't, because I had offers to go all over the place. Sure. Yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. That's pretty cool. Oh yeah, dude. BC Chelsea. But you were pretty close. You were right. the closest, I think, because yeah. the, that was the bigger moment. Because mm -hmm. before that, I just lived at home mm -hmm. and didn't do anything. And I had the same job. And then I had to like get up and move away from my family and everything. Right. First right. time on my own. Hell yeah, boy. All right. You're up. That shit was wild, dude. Going to that place and being like, what the fuck am I doing? Dude. Because yeah. the store was such a shithole that I took over. Like, oh, God. <clears throat> what question would I ask uh, the president? What, what question would Austin ask the president if I was guaranteed a 100% truthful response? What question would he ask Mr. Trump if he knew he was going to get the right answer? How big's your dick? <laughs> I want an actual measurement. Um, Is that your answer? <laughs> actual measurement. Well, I don't know, because he might go silly or serious with it. I feel like if, if I feel like, because Austin can get serious. If, if, if get In this, I feel like in this context, he'd be like, okay, I gotta think. Like, yeah. <laughs> I feel like he would be like, what's up with aliens? But I don't think he would think Trump would know that. I think he. You think the president knows that? No, I don't think so. I think that's some like deep military shit. Maybe the president maybe. is the commander of the military. That's dude. true. He but... at least knows. Like, there's, there's no way. Right. Like, he's yeah, he's got to know. Like, even if he doesn't like about it, like he's got somebody told him. Yeah, I don't know. You like, yeah, you'd probably, you'd probably think on it for a while, come up with some really deep question. Like, I don't even know, man. Like, what would, it, what, what would you do? Like, what yeah, would definitely you? Definitely aliens. Really? <laughs> yeah, that was a <laughs> Damn. Damn. I thought of. Actually, aliens definitely. Aliens or maybe some other type of like conspiracy. Yeah. Yeah. Where's the ice? Okay. Yeah, like yeah. Harriet. You just do that and mean like it's, it's a world flight and be like, no, I'm like, fuck you. <laughs> Got you, fucker. I feel like you, you'd you probably be like, what's like like what's actually in Area 51? Mm -hmm. Yeah, like specific. Something like that. You'd be like, what's the deal with aliens? He's like, what about all aliens? Yeah. <laughs> what, do you what would you like to know? What, who whips like, out oh. this big alien what book? What are you fucking stupid? I don't, I don't want to waste on Area 51, because that could just be like, a, what, what if that's just a big like fucking... Yeah, I'd be like, that's uh, a, that's a diversion. Or something. Yeah, and he just yeah. says that, and I'm like, fuck! Yeah. <laughs> that's true. That's where, that's we, it's like, that's where we make then hybrid all, people. I'm like, ah, oh, man. All you know is the truth is not there. Yeah, exactly. I wasted yeah. my answer, if that's the case. So I'm definitely being like... Do aliens exist, motherfucker? Yeah. And if he knows. Like, no, yeah, I, I, I yeah, yeah, yeah. It would have to be more specific. Like, like, do aliens exist currently and do we have proof of that? Yeah. yeah. And he'd be like, oh shit. Like, you mean like Mexico? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, there's a certain area that. Uh, I'll tell you, Trump Tower's best talk. Yes. <laughs> After the wall, they will not exist. The whole point of the wall is to protect us. <laughs> We're trying to keep the aliens out, you okay? They're rival, they're coming. <laughs> what breed would Jared be oh if, my... dog? if dog? <laughs> if we're dog. <laughs> if we're dog. Um, he'd be a, uh... See, this is, this is interesting because I would probably say something different than you guys are gonna say based on, like, how you perceive me. I guess that's true. Hmm. So I don't know if there's really a right or wrong answer for that. <clears throat> or how about which would I want to be? Yeah, it's, a, it's your personal. Be yeah. a whatever dog stays in that fucking <laughs> pussy, you know what I'm saying, dude? You can have <laughs> one, dude. Cat dog, dude. It's attached to the pussy, dude. Yeah, what's the oh, dog dude. in the Knocked Loose song that does the good <laughs> He seems <Arf>. bright. <laughs> what do you think? I think he'd be, like, a really clean dog. A really clean like a dog. short haired, like uh. See, I'm thinking I'm more of a like a. I think what are like those a... dogs like the longer hair that goes over the eyes? <laughs> <laughs> what are those dogs called? It's like a like a Scottish something. Like a like a, a Scottish Dane or something. So like, Scottish like, Dane. Yeah, you'd be like that that one. It's like taut and like kind of like postured, but it's got like the bangs that can hide behind a little bit. <laughs> it's like, a it's like, a yeah. I don't know. I it's like, like what it's like Marissa has, but it's the she is it's a schnauzer. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, it's like a yeah, it's like a Scottish something though. I'm pretty sure. Scottish terrier. That's what you're talking about. That sounds right. It's got the word Scottish. Scottish in it. terrier. Yeah. Um, Scottish terrier. <laughs> I feel like you'd be like a. Cause they're like, like, like a. Dogs? I feel like you'd be like a lab or something. A lab. Yeah. Like a nice loyal dog. Yeah, just a good sturdy dog. <laughs> Just a good old clean, short haired, yeah, I mean, hypoallergenic, kind of, sturdy. Dog. Labs never like stepped above the mill, though. I mean, come on. <laughs> Tell, point out a lab that has over a million subs right now. <laughs> <laughs> they prep, dude. Maybe there's three there Scottish terriers. I don't. Okay, yeah. Okay, the, the, where the red fern grows, those were labs. The oh, yeah, but that movie is also sad as fuck. Aren't those like red, like bloodhounds though? I thought 
No, weren't they blood I don't hounds? know. I haven't watched a movie in forever. Red Girls? I think they're bloodhounds. They're like the orange dogs with the big ass. I refuse to ever watch that movie again because it's so sad. It's really sad. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's the... It's, they're like, the way that dog dies is so ridiculous. Yeah. It's like, yeah, a little cut, and then he, they walk by a bush, and it pulled out his organs. Right, he's just like... <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty fucked up. I mean, it seems like something would happen to a dog. Yeah. The dogs always get fucked in like the most innocent way. There's just like, like a little porky punch. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I trusted you! Right. Okay, what kind of dog would you um, be, I would want to be a dog like a German Shepherd. Mm-hmm. Okay, you said want, though. Uh, well, that would be, would if, if I could be any dog, I would want to be like a German Shepherd. Um, if I were to just be a dog, as, like, I had no choice in it, but I was just a dog, right. I don't know. I prob Probably, I mean, you both are kind of... I both I said know. chill dogs. Yeah. <laughs> but... His is chill and loyal. Mine's chill but poignant. It's like because they're like stout dogs yeah. and they're like what, but then they're like, mm. yeah, huh? I don't know. That's a tough one. I like both those answers. I don't know if there's really a right or wrong one for that because I did. I don't know. Because you're not a dog. Yeah, because I know dog. <laughs> not dog go to heaven. Dog. <laughs> We're gonna do. Not all. What you gonna do? All right, Tony. Yeah, oh, it's, it's, your, it's yours. Oh, it's yeah, it's your turn. Oh, it's my turn. Totally cured. All right. <laughs> In five words or less, describe Tony's relationship with the person on his right. <laughs> That's Jared. That's me. Yeah. Describe. In case you're wondering. You're in five words. Really in it for money. <laughs> 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 I should have said clout. I'm gonna go into <laughs> clout. Oh fuck. <laughs> um. Um. Uh. Keeps me alive. Yes, please. <laughs> Always. <laughs> <laughs> Always. Close enough. Keeps me in check. Yes. <laughs> Com comma yes. Come for me. Comma yes. Um, I don't know. What, what would you say? Oh, in it for the money? <laughs> uh, I forgot what I was doing. Again. <laughs> Do you want to get another one? Yeah, let me sneak All right. Um, <laughs> five words or less. Okay. Um... Third best guitarist in band. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Third best. I need a band, Jared. <laughs> <laughs> what help? I met Jared after the band. That I was is like two I seconds in after. The you band. saw the promo with Fluff and Jared, and you're like, I want to be in that. I didn't even, honestly didn't even know who Jared was yeah. until I got there. I was like, So what do you do? And he showed me his videos, and I was like, Two hundred fifty thousand subs. Oh my god. <laughs> that was a while ago. Yeah, dude. It was so long ago. That's, that's, that's a long time ago. I, obviously, I'm gonna go with Jared's answer. My yeah. first one was funnier. <laughs> it was. Yeah, that was. That was pretty funny. Maybe the money, a little was, bit, maybe uh, the money was a little better. Than okay, money. whatever. <laughs> dude. Anyway. Um, all right. Oh, Tony. Pull the card, do, my guy. Do two more. Who was Austin's childhood hero? Brian Stars. <laughs> there you have it, folks. That's, <laughs> Brian that's the news. Rap. I'm gonna say it's like. Does it have to be a real person, or can it be like like a it's super hero or like a game character <sighs> or something? Like, I don't know. <laughs> let's zero it down. Um, let's say it's not a real person. So pick a hero in your head that's not a real person, like your favorite person that wasn't real. Okay. Like characters or just like, like whatever, completely. like who you wanted to be. That's not a real person. Like if you could have um, been somebody, that's not real. Shit. Probably fucking Invader Zim. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got one. All right. <clears throat> um. Hmm. 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 I have no idea. See this. I'm gonna guess. Probably like Cthulhu. No, I'm gonna guess Spider Man or some shit. You guys are whack. <laughs> Your boy would have been Goku. If I was <laughs> Goku. Oh, okay, Goku. fuck, yeah. Goku's my, that motherfucker never backed down. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, I didn't watch enough Dragon Ball Z to have... Oh, I, I, I really liked... Uh, what's Piccolo? Yeah, Piccolo's pretty cool. He was yeah. hard, because he beat, he beat ass, dude. He beat, he beat ass. He beat that ass. Yeah, he was hard as fucking Dragon Ball Z. He's uh, he not so tough no more, but... Why? What's it now? Oh, ever, Dragon Ball Universe? Dragon Ball Super. Why is he a bitch? He's not a bitch. He's still strong, but everybody else just got like exponentially stronger. Oh. He's still really strong, but like, there's like a big tournament of power happening, and there's like other mirrored universes, and so like he kind of just looks like a bitch by comparison sometimes. Ah. Sorry, sorry, pick. So what what would it be like? What would your answer be like Go, in general? Oh, just in general, like as a person, like like as okay. someone that like was a real hero up. for you growing. That's what that's why I had a hard yeah. time. Like I was literally just like, fuck, man, I don't know. Yeah, I, was like, I didn't look up to too many real people when I was younger, but. 
I didn't know you when I was younger. Wow, dude. <laughs> just look down, you're like, I was the one that saved you. Really? <laughs> Remember? Big flashback, you outside, saving me. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. Don't, I don't have any, like, off the top of my head, yeah. all the people. I guess Sammy Sosa. <laughs> <laughs> wow. He can do it, I can do it. <laughs> <laughs> and then he had that quirked bat. Oh shit, Son Sammy. Of a bitch. All right, Austin. Sammy Last Corky one. Sosa. Corky right. Sopa. This is for Garbin Gimes. What's yeah. my favorite? What's Jared's favorite fun fact about himself? One point seven million subscribers. <laughs> fun fact. <laughs> <laughs> fun fact. Um. <clears throat> fuck. I feel like that's something he would tell us. <laughs> like, would... no. I feel like it's like that he grew up in a super strict household, like a super religious household. <laughs> that's a pretty fun fact. That's a, yeah. I don't think that's a fact that I've ever uh, really told many people. You can tell people about that. Like about friends, that. yeah. Um, what What about you? It's a really good answer. <laughs> yes. Um, fuck. That you had a mullet when you were younger. <laughs> that's true. Yeah. I mean, you definitely don't look like a guy that's that would true. ever have had a mullet. I'm trying to think about something that, that like. Bring it back, dude. Bring it back so hard. I'm trying to think about like an instance where I'm like, fun fact, and I'm talking about myself. And I don't, I don't ever do that, so I like, I don't know. Um, the I don't know the the, the black belt one's a pretty fun fact. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, that's a, that's good a pretty one. good one. A lot of people don't know that. Um, arts, yeah. You're pretty decent at just at just throwing shit together to make good food. I mean, I've seen you make half, a lot of meals where you're just like, cook. these three things look good. And I'm like, wow, this is really good. <laughs> um, yeah, the black belt one's really good, and the household one's really good. I would probably, the one I would tell people more about myself would probably be like, well, actually, I have a black belt. I would probably they say, call you a bitch. Yeah. Well, like, I'll exactly. Fuck you up. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm, guy I'm on black belt. Guy, guy on Online <laughs> courses from debris. I got a black belt. I will beat you up next time I see you. Do I swear to yeah. God. Oh, that's a good one. What about you? Do you have any f fun facts? I have a ton of fun facts. About yourself. Okay. I've just done a lot of dumb, random like, shit with my life. You're just a Snapple. Yeah. What happen? You yeah. gotta pop my top, dude. It's true. Oh, oh it's Lizard true. can run at 25 miles an hour. Holy <laughs> shit. All right, Austin, what about you? Anything? Any fun facts? Um, I got pretty good pretty good reflexes. Or, um, oh, little known fact, too. I, I'm actually fairly good at uh, kickboxing and jujitsu. I don't know. Not, not very many people know that, but I'm actually... I, Took a lot of fighting classes and stuff Damn. when I was in high school. Hell yeah. And I'm actually quite good at, especially jujitsu. That was like one of my favorite things, was, was rolling with the boys. But, <laughs> rolling with them boys. But yeah, that's rolling something that people boys. definitely don't see. Because, you know, <clears throat> me a big chubby boy, so everyone's like, whatever. But yeah, I mean, dude, I can throw, so I can throw like the hard, hard fucking like w kicks with my right leg too. Yeah. I can kick really fucking hard. But nice. That is a fun fact. I don't fact. really say that ever. Fun fact. Those are fun facts. Uh, also, could kick your, your dad's ass. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video of the Dickie Dines show. Enjoy. If you want to get this game and check it out, you can do that and play with your friends. See how well you know them. It's called Hot Seat. It is not a sponsored video, but it's a fun game to play. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Tony, for joining us. Sure, buddy. Thank you, Austin, Thanks for always for being, being you. Okay. okay. <clears throat> Make um, it look like the. Don't you know? Like, <laughs> Stop doing like that. I, right when he was done talking, I was like, I was like in my head, I was like, I'm gonna tell Tony, don't say that fucking joke. Like, <laughs> the second he finished. <laughs> See you later. I'm just saying, if you could do. I'm just saying, if you could do.